Welcome back to the shop. All right, this is going to be part two of the vintage air kit. Uh, I've been working on this a little bit today. Uh, we've got, I just got done taking the kick panel out, which somebody has doctored this, which I think I've got to cut that piece off. Uh, I took the ducts out. That's the defrost ducts. Um, got the ductwork all out. Uh, so now we've got it where we can um, really work in here i can snake my lines oh, the lighting in here is really bad um like slim to none but i can get my lines through here now like i'm supposed to we're gonna run our duck work and our box but first uh today first thing i'm gonna do is finish i just got done taking the wiring harness out which is this right here um went through that hole there Took some grommets off. I'm gonna take a putty knife and just kind of scrape all this up. Uh, I'm probably gonna cut a couple slits in this and get this flattened out. Is we're gonna put this panel in its place and cover up all that section of the firewall and uh, get going from there and then see where our next step is. Down in my work today, scrubbing on this, uh, taking a five and one, straighten all this seam sealer type putty or whatever you want to call it on this firewall. Just wanted to get it semi smooth. Um, before I apply that, that plate, because I'm going to seal that plate with this firewall with the same sealer or uh, RTB I've decided yet. It'd be a lot easier to just fender all the way off, but I didn't want to take it off the plate. Uh, I'd rather work harder this way than have to take that fender off sometimes. So uh, when I had my 73 and I redid my 73 Camaro, I took the whole front clip off. and. Uh, if I would have realized that we were going as far as we were going with this thing, um, I would have done the same on this. But uh, we kind of just added things as we've gone. It's kind of steamrolled as a project, so um, it wasn't really in the budget to take it that far. But I think he's expanded it a little bit. So I'm going to slice all this and hammer that back where the lip doesn't stick out so I can get the, the plate closer to the firewall. So the plate I'm using is actually, a, so you can see all this crap I've scraped off, could have vacuumed all that up. The plate I'm using is actually like an AC Delete kit plate, but I think it looks cleaner. same to that it sure would have been a lot easier to take this fender off or the front clip off but I'm not doing it now all right got it cut in the corners and got it rolled and did the same for the heater um, I'm gonna shoot a little paint on it real quick see what it looks like I'm gonna paint this old firewall I'm just gonna test it real quick A lot of that's going to be covered up, but um, 
the little gaps that aren't going to be covered up. I want to have some decent paint. Or halfway decent paint. think about that we'll put a little more on I'm about to go eat some lunch okay with the firewall kind of uh, painted up there cleaned up a little bit painted on this side at least I haven't done anything on that corner but we will uh, right now I'm just focusing on the AC so we're gonna do that but we've got to take since we're not using this plastic piece uh, that the kit comes with we're using this plate We've got to drill the four holes in this plate that will allow our um, AC and heater lines to go through. So our two heater hoses and our uh, high and low pressure hose for our AC compressor are going to come through this, this passageway where the blower motor used to be. So <clears throat> basically I'm just um, going to use this as a stencil. I'm just laying it out kind of the way I think it should look in there. And... Uh, then I'll drill some holes, I'll drill a couple pilot holes and drill bigger holes and uh, then we'll put our grommets in that those holes that we drill in this plate and that should be good to go. Okay so what I've done, I've laid this up here and I'm just taking my punch and using it as a scribe and um, let's see if I can do this one handed here, hold this camera right so. Hold my camera in between my arms. So just hold a little pressure. Take my scribe. So I've already painted it, right? I've already done these two. And then I can just take my hole punch and just kind of eyeball the middle out. These spring loaded punches. Don't work that great. I'm just eyeballing it. And that's basically all you gotta do <clears throat> because it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be symmetrical because you're gonna put a grommet in each one anyway and uh, you can't see it because it's tucked up under the fender well. So uh, although we want it to be nice, um, it doesn't have to be totally uniformed because no one's going to see it. All right. Uh, we'll drill these out. While my dog barks at the neighbors. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, got it all drilled out, but we got all these burrs left, right? Got to get rid of these burrs. So we don't own a burr and deburring tool and get them in the plumbing department like any of your box stores home depot is where this one came from uh so you just run it around your hole let's see if i can set up where i can show you i scratched the surface up i'll repaint it i shouldn't have painted it before i drilled it but that's what it is bit but it, it worked but it kind of leaves a nasty surface
and I'm going to clean it up and I'm going to shoot it with paint one more time because I don't want to leave these holes unpainted and I scratch the backside. Um, of course, this is all shavings. And we're going to work on the front side just a little bit on the burring. And then the grommet will go in. So I'll clean this plate up, shoot it with paint one more time, and then we'll stick our grommets in. Okay, so I got the plate hanging. Uh, it spun around quite a bit in the in the wind. Um, that's the back side that'll go on the firewall. This is the front side. You'll only see about this much of it. This is going to be tucked up under the fender well. The grommets will go in here. It's all drilled out. And um, we're going to let that dry for a while in the sun. And what now I'm working on now is getting the defrost vents ran. Uh, the hardware that came in the kit was junk. Uh, the nut and bolts came. Let me grab the passenger side one, I'll show you. Uh, tells you the length to cut your hose which I hope is correct and this goes up up under the dash uh, to the vent here I've already got it up under there for the driver's side but the uh, this is what they give you um, it's not the same thread pitch the screw and the nut is a different thread pitch so you got to damn cross thread it uh, and let me tell you it's not easy the, the screw goes in through here and the nut comes in from the bottom and holding that by yourself and and you just can't do it with what they give you because uh, it's junk plus it's silver so you're gonna see that that silver screw through the windshield uh, through the windshield when you know cars cleaned up and you're walking around you're gonna be like you can see that so I went and got some black hardware that's actually the same thread pitch <laughs> Hey, imagine that. Got a little lock washer, got a screw and a nut, and I'll uh, fasten that down like so. So, anyway, I don't know what kind of, they had a shortage of hardware and they just threw whatever in the bag, but you kind of have to have the same thread pitch to make the nut and the bolt work together. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this, get this uh, fished in. I want to know what's going on in here. What's going on in here today? Huh? So why are you crouched down in this car all the time? Not playing with me. Why aren't you playing with me? That was fun. Uh, <laughs> loads of fun. Okay. So basically what I used to get that defrost vent in was this little ratchet driver. You can change your bits out, your Phillips head. And I held it by the windshield and then I tightened it with the uh, 3 8 up underneath, up underneath the dash. So I was basically reaching in up over the steering wheel, over the steering column with this hand holding this wrench, and up under the dash holding this one. Not fun. Uh, you gotta be quite a contortionist, and my fat ass doesn't contort very well anymore, so <laughs> good luck with that. But I'm just, I know people are gonna ask me how I did that, because uh, it's probably gonna be the, one of the most difficult parts of this, I'm hoping, because uh, I'm past it on this side at least, so. Stick with it, you can do it. It's gonna take a little figuring out, but uh, you can get you can get it. It'd be a lot easier if you had another set of hands, um, someone to hold the wrench, work the wrench from up top and the vent through the dash, and then one up underneath it so you can concentrate on one thing at a time. But um, I don't have that ability, so I have to figure out how to do it on my own. Um, I've been up under a million dashboards in my day. I mean, these, I thought I was past that stage in my life, but I guess I'm not. 
we'll move on to the passenger side. Okay, again, <clears throat> on the passenger side, you basically um, you hang it this way. So this is going up through the dash. You're coming in this way with a screwdriver, uh, and you have to use that tiny little ratchet deal. You're not going to get anything in there uh, unless you have a better solution. Um, you could use a hex head. Uh, but I didn't see that option. I wanted it black because I don't want you to be able to look through the dash, through the uh, windshield. Say you're at a car show or a drag strip or whatever, and somebody's looking through the windshield, and I'm like, yeah, I can see the hardware shining through. So that's why I went with black instead of the silver that they sent with the kit. It just looks better. Um, just like anything, you're gonna find you know, your own ways to modify things, to make it uh, your own, make it to your liking. A lot of times it's hardware, the hardware that comes in kits uh, will get you by, but it isn't really the best option in the world. Uh, I don't know if it's cheap accounting, people with build kits or if it's just a lack of planning I'm not sure but we'll snake this up under there and uh, go ahead and knock the passenger side out okay passenger side is a thousand times easier because you can get to it there's no steering column in your way there's nothing obstructing you so that's where it should be Thank God, <laughs> that driver's side's a pain. This side's a breeze, no problem on this side. Um, all right, defrost ducks are in. Let's figure out our next step here. All right, got the grommets in. So, plate's looking pretty decent for a spray can. Like so. Okay, so now we're going to drive, we're not going to drive anything. We're going to install the driver's side, it's been a long day, driver's side ductwork. So I've got the, it gives you a part number gives you a couple clips so this is just going to push on the back of the factory um, vent all right the passenger side has three screws this thing goes in up in there like that all right time to do the center vents so couple 16 inch pieces boy it stretched to the max I left like an inch or so long on the right and left vent dash vent um, as far as you know the hose is cut to fit they give you one, one long piece but I got to uh, to this and I'm hoping I'm not gonna come up short if so I'll have to go round up some of this because they uh don't give you any excess. This is, I mean, stretch to the max, I might get 16 out of it, which I'm hoping it's all gonna be long enough. We'll see when we go to install the box, hook all these uh, tubes up. But that right side I just did, I showed you in the last frame there, uh, it's a pain. It's it's not, not easy. It doesn't have push clips like this. It's got screws, factory screws and uh, so bright over there. I, if I take the camera over there, the sun's setting, and it's, it makes it, it blows out in the doorway right there. So I can't film over there when it's uh, when the sun's coming down for the last couple hours. It's just too bright. The camera can't take it. Uh, but that duct on the passenger side vent, um, it's got three screws, and it's totally blind. You can't see it um, without a mirror. So it's, it's a fun one. It's doable, but it's fun. Uh, it's a challenge. This whole kit's a challenge. If anybody tells you it's easy, they're full of it, unless they've done a few of them. This is my first one, so I'm figuring it out. I may say it's easy after I do a couple of them. Uh, 
but it's time consuming. You gotta, you got a lot of time figuring stuff out. And of course, I'm changing stuff up, like the, the plate, you know, the firewall plate. I'm using different, uh, a different method. So I'm uh, gobbling up time, figuring things out, running to the hardware store because the hardware wasn't right. Drilling out the play, repainting it because the shavings were so hot, it killed the paint. They were piling up everywhere and uh, melting into the paint. That, so I shouldn't have painted it first. That was my, my mistake. But um, in the long run, it's all going to come out. It's all going to come out, and this car is going to be badass. Nothing like a badass hot rod with good air conditioning. I hope the air conditioning is good. It should be. This is the test. The test of the vintage air. We're gonna find out how good it is. Uh, hopefully, I can get it uh, get this thing finished before the heat goes away. Um, we're at uh, about August 20th. Yeah, today's the 20th of August. We've got good heat in Georgia all the way through October. Um, in the daytime at least so through all the way through september beginning of october it's still pretty hot so we got plenty of time i'm hoping to have all this done uh way before it gets cold well bug can enjoy some fall car shows um i mean i'd love to go to ls fest in three weeks with it but i don't see that happening but uh slow as it is to get parts and i'm sure i'm gonna run into something that that i need um i don't think i'll make three week deadline but i'm gonna try i'm gonna try to get this thing going by then I'm not saying i'm gonna go to ls fest with it but um been waiting on i got my finally got my viking adjustable double overs for the el camino if any of y'all have been following that build uh, i'm waiting on i bought 15 by four Old styles uh, are torque thrust American. We, I call them old style Americans. Uh, they're American racing wheels. And I've got the skinnies for the front. I got my tires. I got my coilovers. But I don't have the wheels yet. I think I've got another month before I get those. I'm like, dang, man. I gotta wait a month to get two wheels? Really, it's about, a, about six weeks. So. Wait on parts, that's uh, something, I mean, you've always had to wait on some things, but dang, man, this COVID deal, I, I guess, and materials, and it's making things really difficult to get. Um, Y'all need to go back to work. Get your asses back in those mills. Get back in the plant, make some parts. Uh, those wheels come from China, so uh, they're probably on a slow boat being rowed over or held up at port we've had all kinds of reports everything being held up at port so i don't know all right i'm gonna pop this uh behind the center vent this ought to be easy because it's just got push clips so i should just be able to push this onto the back of the vent louvers and um and i think i'm probably gonna wrap this video up after that and uh, not make these videos too long because uh it's gonna be multiple parts of this vintage air deal all right let's pop this thing on real quick all right center ducts are in now we've got all kinds of robotic looking well that's what robot arms look like when i was a kid got all the ducts hanging Danger, Will Robbins. All right. The next step is to cut out three eighths of an inch around this. So basically, you're gutting this out. Uh, you're taking this this door out and all that belongs to it. You can see somebody uh, has come in here and doctored this up at one point. Uh, I'm not sure what was going on there. A lot of dirt, sticky shit everywhere. So we're gonna. Get rid of this 
mechanism because that's where our lines are going to come in, our heater and our air conditioning lines are going to come in through the kick panel and route up to the box. And that's what's going to go through here. So it's going to go in up under the fender, come out through the kick panel behind the glove box and up to the AC box. So I've got a seal. I got to attach this. I need to seal it. Um, not sure if I'm going to use seam sealer or if I'm going to use RTV. But I need to seal it to the firewall and put the bolts in it and be done with this part. I don't have any seam sealer here, so I may just use RTV because I've got plenty of that. I've got the gray diesel RTV and a um, caulk gun. That's probably what I use. It'll be just fine. It's about the same thing as bead sealer or seam sealer. Um, it's not quite as gummy, I guess, but... Um, once that thing's glued on, boy, it, it probably won't come off once I put that gray on there. <laughs> that stuff's pretty wicked. Um, but we won't have to worry about it leaking water in. I'm not sure how I'm going to run the power in. It tells you to run them. It normally runs through that big hole, um, which will not be covered up. It does come with some grommets. It does tell you to drill out some stuff bigger. But I, I haven't done any of that because I, I don't know if if I'm going to use any of those holes because of uh, what we're doing here. We'll just have to see what happens when I get there. But um, unfortunately, I mean, this is gobbled up about two days straight of um, running back and forth, figuring stuff out, uh, being a contortionist, and um, repainting, you know, just this whole firewall panel has uh, slowed me down just a notch but part of it was my fault because um, I should have drilled everything before I painted it so I ended up painting the damn thing three times so <laughs> it is what it is it's gonna look good I may go ahead and seal this thing up before we wrap this one up all right plates on uh, a couple of the bolt holes didn't jive with what was already on the firewall uh, i gotta make a couple new bolt holes and i gotta i gotta put two nuts behind those two bolts the far right bolts uh no big deal that upper upper one up there doesn't go to anything but i can drill it and uh put a nut in a bolt um the two on the heater core side probably not gonna be able to see it because it's too dark worked out fine I put a bead of silicone uh, around the openings but it looks pretty good for what it is and uh, it's gonna work fine for what we're doing we got a hole down there two holes there we'll either uh, plug them off or uh, use them for power we're trying to you know hide as much wiring as possible and um, you know just Keep the wiring hidden as, keep it as clean as possible. We're going to take all this stuff off the fender over here. We're going to put the battery in the trunk. Don't know if I'm going to go Hydro Boost or um, electronic or electric pump to help supply a vacuum. I think Hydro Boost is probably what we're going to do. Uh, but that would mean, I think, that we've got to change the power steering pump that we've already got. So I gotta look into that a little further and see where we're at on that. But that's uh it's gonna wrap it up. Son's got a football game at about 10 o'clock in the morning. We're gonna uh, drink a couple cold beers and enjoy this Friday night. And I gotta do a body lift on a Jeep tomorrow. But then I'm gonna jump right back on that Monday. Um, see if I can't finish up the AC stuff and get the uh, engine maybe possibly lowered in we'll see uh, yeah hopefully to, I'm hoping to get all the interior buttoned up by the end of the day on Monday and hopefully Tuesday I will start um, 
figuring out motor mounts and lower this LS3 into this thing. So if you're into this thing, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down there on the corner. Uh, come back, check me out. We've got plenty of videos left on this and many other ones coming as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Leave me a comment. Hit the bell notification. Um, do all that kind of YouTube stuff. Helps the algorithms. If you hit the thumbs up button, it'll put my videos out in front of other people on the platform more, uh, from what I'm told. So, yeah, I'd appreciate it. It's easy. Just hit that little thumbs up button. Make it turn blue. Appreciate you guys. Peace. See you in the next one.